This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Matt Blue's Jim Marbella. I'm in the Peacock today, so open media workout with Team Fury. With me, I've got Huey Fury. What's happening, Huey? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm alright, I'm alright. First and foremost, congratulations on the great win against Andre Rodenko. Really bossed him in there and showed a real class about your work. Let's look back and talk to me a little bit about that fight, please, Huey. Yeah, I just kept to the game plan, Mike. Uh, he's a very tough opponent, he was uh, very durable. So I just stuck to the game plan, I just uh, done a boxing lesson on him. You only know, say what you can't hit, that's it, what you can't see, you can't hit. So I was just, uh, yeah, I, as you can see, I've not got a mark on me, so I don't know, easy enough. I mean, speaking to your dad today, he said the same thing. He was very pleased about the way you implemented the game plan, very disciplined performance from yourself. Yeah, I listen to exactly what my dad says, and uh, if he tells me to do something like that, I'm not going to do it. And I know with my dad's advice, it's only going to get me far. And my dad believes in me fully, so whatever he says, I believe in him. You do, and every single time it works off to uh, perfect. I mean, Andre Rodenko, when Lucas Brown beat him, he got a hell of a lot of credit for that win. Do you feel as if the credit's not been the same amount for yourself for this picture? Uh, yeah, of course. It's like um, they said he was going to show it on the Channel 5, it never got on the Channel 5 for some reason. Um, of course, yeah, I beat him in a complete different style there of Lucas Brown. He gave uh, Lucas Brown fits. But, like you say, it's all politics, isn't it? So. I'm happy as long as I win all the time, that's it. Speaking to your dad today, he said he was looking at the likes of Mark Del Moray, Houston um, Off, even Emmanuel Char. Are these the kind of names you want to be in the mix with? Yeah, definitely. I want to learn my job properly. I don't want to be like uh, fighting journeyman now all the time. I want to, I say, box now at a good level and uh, put on good performances on. The cousin Tyson Fury's number one contender to face Vladimir Klitschko. It must be fantastic having someone like that around the camp and in the gym to give you the advice and even ready made sparring. Yeah, well, best of uh, sparring with Tyson that, and uh, yeah, it is, it's great. Tyson's just one more fight away and he's fighting for a world uh, title, so over the moon with it. And like you say, Tyson's is like, he's like a brother to me. He, he gives me advice, he's always there, and uh, but like you say, I'm always there with him as well, so. Close. There's some massive fights potentially in the next 18 months for yourself domestically, looking at the domestic scene. Are you, are you aware of that or are you kind of looking at a different route? Yeah, I know there's uh, big fights out there at the moment, so I, like I always say, I let me dad do the matching and I get in there and let me fist do the talking. Mm -hmm. When can we anticipate seeing your next out in Channel 5? When's your next card? Uh, I don't know, it's up, to, it's up to them if they show me. <laughs> at this moment, the time is up, they're never going to show me, so... I don't know, it's um, hopefully June now, next fight, get yeah, the big fight then, and uh, hopefully the show on Channel 5, right. I mean, 10 months out, you must be very relieved. A, you've sorted out what the problem was, and B, yeah. you're back in the ring doing what you love. Yeah, I'm on track now, because like I said before, it's so bad, the illnesses, I couldn't even get a fight or anything, and I'm just so happy just to get our first fight out of the way, and coming back in a big way as well, not just fighting any like um, journey man, I just got in there, got a good opponent, I just showed you what I'm capable of doing, but there's a lot more to come from me. Your skin seems to be heating up a lot as well, you seem to be putting on a bit more weight, positive signs? Yeah, a lot of positive signs, I'm uh, coming, I'm starting to gain muscle now, yeah, as before, I was just, I don't know what was happening. Like all the food allergies and that, absolutely knocked me in all the time, but I'm on track now. I'm, I'm just gonna improve every single time now. Do you feel as if you've got more energy and more, more yeah, time? Yeah, uh, I was more sleeping. Emphasis for training? Yeah, I was sleeping, like literally, my life away, I've probably done more sleeping than an uh, 80 year old man. Yeah, I was so, so sleeping every single day, like all day, all night, and I don't know why. The reasons why is because I was ill all the time, so I've got rid of that and my energy now and just sort of flying to go all the time. Speaking of Monte Carlo, you slipped us, we didn't get your post fight interview, but I had a good time with some of your cousins, some of your brothers as well. It was nice of them to have a chat with us. Yeah, it was a very good venue and crazy night over there. <laughs> I bet you did have a good night with my brother. I did, he's, he's a good man, he's a good man. Nah, he is, he's got a good sense of humour. Yeah, he's a funny character. Nah, Ask him about the uh, the drive around the Monte Carlo racetrack, he'll, he'll tell you about that. <laughs> I bet he was trying to be a Formula One driver, wasn't he? <laughs> hard, hard left! <laughs> <laughs> hard, hard I right. can imagine. That's <laughs> nah, all fun, though. All fun and games. 
Yeah. Listen here, if you're here, Carl, thank you for coming to IPL TV and us, sir. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again well, real soon. Thank you very much. God bless.